Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. The 16 days to go into that first GCSE Maths exam paper, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. And today we're going to focus on the topic of parallel lines. So we've looked at the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c, and we've looked at how to draw straight line graphs. Now we're going to look at what happens whenever the lines are parallel to each other. So in this video, we're going to go through what parallel lines are, and we're going to answer some typical questions on them. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at parallel lines. So we've looked at straight line graphs, graphs in the form y equals mx plus c. And if graphs look at the same gradient, they're going to be parallel to each other. So here's part of the Code Maths revision card. And if you've got the graph of y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals 2x minus 3, those two lines will be parallel to each other. Because they've got the same steepness, the same gradient, they're going to be parallel. So two lines will be parallel to each other if they've got the same gradient. And that's an important factor to remember. So again, write on your windows if you need to, well, if your window pens, uh, you take the Code Maths revision card to make sure you remember it and so on. Okay, let's have a look at our first question. So the first question says, circle the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 8x subtract 2. So feel free to pause the video and think which of these three lines is parallel to y equals 8x subtract 2. Okay, so our choices are y equals 5x minus 2, y equals 8x plus 1, and y equals 4x minus 1. So for two lines to be parallel, they've got to have the same gradient. So the gradient of this line, m, would be equal to 8, because remember the equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. We're looking for the number in front of the x, so the gradient here of this line is 8, and the gradient of this line would also be 8. So if you circle this one, well done. These two lines will be parallel, they've got the same gradient. The gradient of this one is 5, and the gradient of this one is 4, so it's not the same as this one, which is 8. And this is our answer. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, write down the gradient of a line that is parallel to y equals 2x plus 3. So we're looking for the gradient of a line that's parallel to y equals 2x plus 3. So feel free to press pause and write down the gradient of any line that's parallel to y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, so the gradient of this line is 2 because it's y equals 2x, so the gradient of this line is 2. So the gradient of a line that's parallel to this would be 2 because it has to have the same gradient, so the answer would be 2. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, write down the equation of a line that is parallel to y equals 3x plus 1 and passes through the point 0, 7. So feel free to press pause now and find the equation of the line that's parallel to this line and passes through this point. Okay, so we're looking for an equation of a line, so it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus c, and we want to find its gradient and its y-intercept. That's parallel to this line, so that means it has to have the same gradient, so it's going to have to have a gradient of 3. So it's going to be y equals 3x plus c. Now we need to find c, the y-intercept, and that passes through the point 0, 7. Now normally I'd look at this point, and I'd look at its x-coordinate and its y-coordinate, and substitute those in and find the value for c, but this point's actually quite nice, it's actually on the y-axis, that is the y-intercept, the y-intercept is 7. So the answer would be y equals 3x x plus 7 and that's it. So that means the equation of the line that's parallel to y equals 3x plus 1 and passes through this point would be y equals 3x plus 7. It's got a gradient of 3, the same gradient, and passes through 7 on the y-axis, so plus 7 and that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So the question says, write down the equation of a line that's parallel to y equals minus 2x plus 7 and passes through the point 0, 5. So again, feel free to press pause now and to write down the equation of the line that's parallel to this line and passes through this point. Okay, again, this is quite a nice one because this is the y-intercept. That's 0, 5. It's 5 on the y-axis, so it's going to pass through 5. So the equation of the line is going to be the form y equals mx plus c. Its gradient would have to be minus 2 because it's parallel to this line, so it's going to be y equals minus 2x. And it crosses through 5 on the y-axis, so it's going to be plus 5, and that's it. So the equation of the line that's parallel to this line and passes through 0, 5 is y equals minus 2x plus 5, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says, write down the equation of a line that's parallel to y equals 4x plus 9 and passes through the point 3, 5. So this time, this point isn't on the y-axis, it's not the y-intercept, so we're going to have to work out where it crosses the y-axis. So feel free to press pause now and find the equation of the line that's parallel to this line and passes through this point. Okay, so it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus c, so y equals mx plus c. The gradient of the line that's parallel to is 4, so that means the gradient of this line will be 4, so it's going to be y equals 4x plus c. Now we need to find c where it crosses the y-axis. So we look at the point we've been given, we look at its x-coordinate, which is 3, and we look at its y-coordinate, which is 5, and we're going to substitute both of those into our equation to find our c. So let's do that. So y, well y is 5, so we're going to have 5 equals 4x, well x is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, so it's going to be 12 plus c. Now we want to find out what c is, so we don't want this plus 12, so we're going to subtract 12 and subtract 12, and 5 take away 12 is minus 7, so we're going to get minus 7 equals c. So that means that c is equal to minus 7, so we can now replace the c with minus 7, so the, that's going to give us y equals 4x minus 7, and that's it. So the equation of the straight line that's parallel to y equals 4x plus 9 
and passes through the point 0.35 would be y equals 4x minus 7. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So this time we've been asked to write down the equation of a line that's parallel to y equals 3x minus 1 and passes through the point 4.15. So again, feel free to press pause and answer this question now. Okay, so we're looking for the equation of the line that's parallel to this line. So it's going to be y equals mx plus c. And we know it's going to have to have a gradient of 3 because it's parallel. So y equals 3x plus c. We want to find our c, so let's look at our point that it passes through, which is 4, 15. The x coordinate is 4 and the y coordinate is 15. So we're going to substitute those values into our equation. So instead of y, we're going to have 15 equals and 3 times x, 3 times 4 is going to be 12 plus c. We're then going to take away 12 from both sides, so take away 12 and take away 12. 15 take away 12 is 3, and that's equal to c, so c is equal to 3. So that means our equation would be y equals 3x, and instead of plus c, it's going to be plus 3. So that's it. So the equation of the line that's parallel to this line and passes through the point 4, 15 would be y equals 3x plus 3. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. So this time we've been asked to show that the lines with equations y equals 4x minus 1 and the line 3y minus 12x plus 1 equals 0 are parallel. So we've been asked to show that these two lines are parallel. So feel free to press pause now and show these two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, so in terms of this line, well, the gradient of this line is going to be 4 because it's y equals mx plus c, and the gradient would be 4. So m is equal to 4 for that line. Now, in terms of this line, it's not in the form y equals mx plus c. So let's rearrange it. So we've got 3y minus 12x plus 1 equals 0. And if we make y the subject, then we can find the gradient quickly and easily. So let's make y the subject. So I'm going to add 12x to both sides. So I'm going to add 12x to the left-hand side and add 12x to the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, we're adding 12x to get rid of the minus 12x. So we're just going to be left with 3y plus 1 on this side because we're getting rid of that minus 12x. On the right-hand side, we're going to have 12x. Now, we don't want this plus 1 here, so we're going to take away 1 and take away 1. So we're going to get 3y equals 12x minus 1. Now finally, we don't want this 3 in front of the y, we don't want to multiply by 3, we just want y equals. So we're going to divide by 3 and divide by 3. So it means we're going to divide everything on the left hand side by 3, that's y. And on the right hand side, we're dividing everything by 3. So 12x divided by 3 would be 4x. And then in terms of our minus 1, we're going to divide that by 3, so it's going to be minus a third. So that means that the equation of this line is y equals 4x minus a third. Now the gradient of this line would be equal to 4, because you can see the gradient here is 4, so the gradient there is equal to 4. So the gradient of this line is equal to 4, the gradient of this line is equal to 4, so therefore they're parallel, so let's write that. I can just write down, and probably not the tightest of handwriting, but it says the gradients of both lines are equal, 4, therefore they're parallel, and that's it. And if you got that, well done. And that's it, so in this video we've looked at parallel lines, and we've looked at the fact that parallel lines have got the same gradient. So remember y equals mx plus a, that that m, the gradient, is the same for both lines. So if you've got a line that's got a gradient of 4, another line with a gradient of 4 will be parallel to it. So we've looked at parallel lines today. I like this topic and I hope you do too. And I've got the practice questions in the description below. So give those a shot as well. I think it's quite a useful topic to practice and make sure you're confident with. Because parallel lines, you can get some questions on parallel lines towards the end of the GCSE paper. And I think they're ones that you should hopefully try and pick up some marks on. So I would highly recommend giving those practice questions a shot. So keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. Tomorrow there's 15 days to go into GCC Mavs exam, so I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock on YouTube for the next video. Cheers, bye.